world, this is WhatsApp2190 here, and today I'm going to show you how to play Nintendo GameCube games on your Mac. You should be running at least Mac OS X uh, Snow Leopard, definitely, but uh, I think that there may be more, uh, if you go online and Google search, you may fi find more stuff about compatibility, all that stuff. We're going to be using a program called the Dolphin, which is also available for Windows, and I'll put the link to the to download it in the description below. Now, whatever game you want to play, uh, you're going to need the IS the files for it or ROM files. And I should let you know, I believe it is illegal to download games that you don't own the physical copy of. So yeah, you know, just uh, let you know that. Anyway, when you start the program up, you're going to get um the window that looks like this. Then where you you can configure the controllers by clicking on GC pad, pad one. Make sure this it's set your keyboard is set like this. You can set you can configure the controllers of the GameCube game to the controllers of to the, your keyboard to what to the buttons on your keyboard. So for example, like where you press A in the GameCube game, you press A on your keyboard. You'd set it like that. You can you can also set it so that um. You, so that so you can change the A button on the GameCube controller to whatever button you want on game on your keyboard. So um, to do that, just click, just click here, then press whatever key you want. And now it, if I press, and now like in in a GameCube game, right have to press A, I would to press N on the keyboard. And I'm gonna go ahead and change that back. You can also alter the up, down, can up and down control pads with these with this main stick one right here. I have mine set to up, to go up. Use the up arrow, down. Use the down arrow. Then once you, and then once you're done, you can also restore it to default by clicking right here. And then once you're once you're done editing your controls, just click OK. I'm going to show you how to use some gameplay with this pro. And the game I'm going to be playing is called Sonic Adventure. So what you do is to start the game is just click open, find the uh, game ISO file for the game you want to play. It's like they sorry about the brief interrupt interruption in the video there. So yeah, just click open. A window like this will appear. If you're on a laptop, this is going to drain your battery pretty fast, and you should probably have at least three gigabytes of RAM. No, wait, sorry. You just click this button right here, and, and uh, or you can click this button right here. I'm just gonna skip the opening cutscene and show you guys some gameplay. Yeah, so here's kind of what this game looks like in full screen. It is running slower than it should. I know I said that already, but it's kind of a nice, it's kind of nice to play in full screen, like when you're not doing anything else on your computer. You can easily toggle between back, between full screen and a not full screen, and uh, Kind of nice if you're playing a game like I don't know Super Smash Brothers Melee or maybe Paper Mario Thousand Your Door, whatever GameCube game you might want to play. So yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is What's Up 2190 and I'm signing off.